Hey everybody, Brian Fleming from PC Tattletale. In this video, I wanna give you my three best tips for putting PC Tattletale on an Android device. I think you're really gonna like it. I get a lot of questions about it, and I see a lot of you making mistakes with it, so hopefully I can clear that up in this video. So, let's get started. My first biggest tip is if you have your own Android phone, put PC Tattletale on it first as a test run, because I know you guys have a hard time getting a hold of their phone. It's always on them. And when you do get a hold of it, you're probably super, super nervous about what to do and, and when can you even get a hold of their phone. It's usually at night when they're asleep and um, I get it, super nervous about doing it. If you go through it once on a test run on your phone, you can very easily write in PC Tattletale, just delete it and then it's off your phone and you can see how it works and how easy it is to install. So that's my first tip. If you have your own Android phone or uh, an old Android phone laying around the house, do a test run and install it first so you know what to expect and, uh, and how easy it is. Now, my second tip, a lot of people mess this one up. Most people don't know there's two ways to put PC Tattletale on an Android phone. The first way that most people do is you just download the app and go through the setup and it's on the phone. And there's some configuring to do, but for the most part, that, that works pretty well. Uh, the problem with that is on some manufacturers, you get caught in a spot where um, there's nothing you can do to the phone. It needs, it needs a little more to make it work. I'll give you a couple examples. So the second version, the way you should be installing it is very easy. What you do is you put the phone in developer mode. It's not hard to do. It's, it's very easy to do. And once it's in developer mode, you connect it to a computer. Now, when you do that, when you put a phone, an Android phone in developer mode and connect it to a computer, a lot of the guards get let down and I can do a lot more for you to configure that phone. So you, you plug it into the computer and then there's a, a little app you download, a PC Tattletale app, and it'll configure the phone, everything you need to do, it'll install PC Tattletale on it and do a lot better job for you. So um, some examples, you know, Samsung phones, they have a cast icon that shows up at the top of PC Tattletale. Without hooking a Samsung phone to your computer, you can't get rid of that cast icon because they took that away from you, but I can do it when you hook it into a computer. Another example, Octel phones. They're cheap phones, they're good phones, but boy, they load their phones up with so much bloatware, PC Tattletale can't even run. So I gotta rip some of that bloatware out there. It makes the phone faster, uh, but it also makes PC Tattletale run a lot better. So there's things vendors do to muck with Android that I can get around if you plug it into the computer. And if you don't, maybe you can configure it, uh, maybe you can't. So my second tip is, Use your computer to install PC Tattletale. It's just faster and easier. And my third and final tip on these newer Android phones, guys, there's uh, pop-up notifications that come up after you install PC Tattletale. If you install PC Tattletale and simply lock the phone and unlock it, you'll see these pop-ups come up. Now, the good news is they're very easy to get rid of. What you wanna do is just hold that pop-up notification and then it'll say, do you wanna dismiss this forever? And you say, yes, never show me this again and it's gone, it won't come up anymore. But if you forget to do this step, they are definitely going to see this pop up and say, no, stop, stop PC Tattletale. And then it's shut down. I can't restart it. You're going to have to install it on the phone again. So we don't want that to happen. So three things, guys, test run on your own phone, use a computer to help you install it. So I can configure things for you better than if you just did it on your own. And three, after it's installed, just lock the phone, unlock it again. Look for those pop-up messages. You'll see a few of them and you can easily dismiss them. Then you're off to the races. It'll run beautifully for you. So take those tips, guys. I think you have a lot more success. And again, if you have any problems at all with PC Tattletale, use a support link. That'll send me a message and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. And I'll have another video for you again soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.